Well, we're making lots of power today. 3,000, oh, come on, focus you. 3,300 watts almost, and 2,442. Not too bad for today. Everything's working great. The whole system is working great. Still haven't got the doors on yet, but using the magnet sign right now. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What kind of weather do we have out here? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not super, super nice, though, that's for sure. Yeah, see? It's quite cloudy. So. We're lucky to be making as much power as we're making. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm building this sm small table for somebody. And uh, the room was fairly cool. Gotta work on moving the camera slower. I'm running this heater to heat up the room. It's actually pretty warm in here now. But I'm gonna get it nice and warm to between this heater and this heater. We got a little over 2,000 watts to dry all this wood glue. Just want to keep the two pieces together real nice. Those ones are pretty good. Those ones are still got a clamp. Here's the underside. This is getting removed and the guy's putting a marble, a piece of marble in here. And everything in here is running, or everything actually is running off the reliable right now. The input side is a bit warm. Output side is a touch warm. This input side is the warmest though. I hope it's not because it's my repaired input side. So I'm not sure exactly, but it is the warmest. Usually it's the output side that's the warmest, so who knows. Still making over 2,000 watts. But uh, yeah. Everything is going, working through this uh, this uh, 10 kilowatt transformer. Working really good. I like it a lot. The magnet sign is shut down. Just giving the reliable, nice little workout. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come on, guys. It's another update. By now, you guys have all seen my. Uh, Reliable inverter giveaway. Well, this is about the same inverter. Well, not the exact same one. This is mine. Uh, what this is another one I bought broken. This is the one uh, you guys saw in my last video. I repaired it, upgraded it with the IGBTs. We'll see if it's an actual upgrade or not. We're starting to do stress testing on this thing. We're starting with 500 watts. That's this wall heater. This is a 500 watt baseboard heater. I pretty much have it cranked. Let's see if you can see that. So it almost stays on continuous. Once this room gets to the temperature, it kind of turns on and off, but it kind of just almost stays on the whole time. So, right now the Reliable is running everything in this room. It's running the fridge, it's running the heater, it's running my projector, laptop, it, all the living room stuff. It's not running the whole house. We don't have enough solar anymore for uh, December and January is my I can't stay off grid. That's the truth for going off grid. I cannot be off grid completely for those two months. If I had a, a backup, a large backup generator, obviously I could, but anyways, we're gonna unplug the heater from the wall and we're gonna plug it into this. I wanna make sure the fans turn on because remember I got that little tiny segregated uh, heat sink that I cut apart. That's where the heater or the thermistor is. So we'll see. Let's do this now. You'll see that the Power light will turn off. There we go. It's unplugged. Oh, it's not long enough. So let's pull this forward because I don't want to take that little tie off. All right, look at that. Actually, I'll put it in the bottom one just so if I want to run something else on top of it, I can. I'm going to start by turning it off. All right, she still works. That's a good sign. 22 volts turn it on okay so it's on what are you sitting at now 117 volts uh let's see if we can block the light no i can't block the light 
the input is 59.7 volts and that's because there's losses in the lines so this should be about around 10 10 amps look at that not doing too bad it's jumping around a lot though I wonder if that's due to my repair because uh, I'm gonna be honest when I first hooked this thing up I hooked it up with a with a, a halogen light it's a 300 watt halogen light for resistance between my uh, batteries and the inverter it acts like uh, a limited power and the light turned on solid like the inverter was getting no power and then two of the MOSFETs got a little warm and then all of a sudden boom everything opened up and I'm not sure exactly why I'm pretty sure it's because uh, it's either I had a little a tiny trace of solder across or uh, those IG or the MOSFETs were in somehow uh, I don't know bad or whatnot and they just opened up I don't know but we're gonna do some testing if I can do over 2,000 watts or around 2,000 watts we know everything's working if it can't then maybe this part of the input stage isn't working so we're only getting half power so we'll see I'll come back when the when the fans turn on it is outputting heat it's working great I'm actually gonna get my oscilloscope and check that as well I'll be right back great so I got the oscilloscope hooked up check that out guys okay oh, that's not bad it's not bad at all especially for a repaired inverter I'm pretty happy with that and you can see we are oscilloscoped into the inverter hold on honey we can have that after yeah everything's working great we're still pulling nine point I'll say nine point five amps at uh, fifty nine volts anyways I'll give you guys updates as we go we're gonna let this run for a while see how it works well that sure didn't take long seems to be working and it doesn't take long to shut off either oh that's funny because I made the heat sink so small it's only this big instead of the whole length it cycles on and off more often so it does not take long to turn on does not take long to turn off now look the interesting thing will be see when it's when it does turn on is it pumping out hot air cool air or what but they did turn on so success so far we do not seem to have any problems a really nice voltage 519 volts that's great 59.6 volts means not having trouble with any high voltage uh, input this is working great this is just how 48 volts should work and hopefully with those new uh, IGPTs this will be just a really really reliable inverter it'll be great now the first time this one broke was not this inverter's problem at all it was way way overloaded way overloaded by about 1800 watts I'm thinking because the fuses when I checked the fuses it's fused for 4,000 I believe it was 4,800 watts and all the fuses blew all of them so if you're pushing that kind of power to blow fuses there's issues because usually when the when the MOSFETs fry first oh sorry and the fuses blew and the nothing was broken the guy replaced all the fuses and it worked again so that means you're pulling some serious power if you don't blow MOSFETs and you blow the fuse but other than that see how quick it turns on for like a split second wow I actually kind of like this I'm going to uh, there's no heat coming out of it anywhere I kind of like this actually better uh, it's interesting <coughs> I wonder if everything will run cooler like this or if it's going to run hotter anyways I'm going to check the temperature and uh, we'll go from there okay so the fans are on the input side is a touch warm or the output side I mean is a touch warm but the input side is cool as could be so I believe this to be a success a really nice success I think the hottest thing is the output like I said and there's the IGBTs right there awesome 
Wow, that is great. This is looking very promising so far. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll update you guys if anything goes wrong or if it goes well, I'll update you anyways. All right, guys. So I just hooked up this 1500 watt heater. We'll be running off this inverter now. We ran this for approximately an hour. It did great. Now we're running this off the 8000 watt reliable, reliable again. And let's see what she does. Hopefully she doesn't go boom. Oh, there we go. Wow, 118 volts it's holding. That's pretty good. 117. Not looking too bad. This should the fan should pretty much run non-stop with this thing. Put it on this one and see it's on high so it does not shut off. 118 volts again. Wow. 117, 118. That's not doing bad. Not for, bad for 1800 watts, anyways. Let's actually point this away from the inverter because you don't want that heating it up any more than it needs to be. It's already quite warm in this room. So these should pretty much run most of the time. Like this side here is warm, this side here is cool. So interesting to see <coughs> well still shuts off interesting pulling 1500 watts looks like my little tiny heat sink didn't completely uh, destroy this inverter that's good I had my doubts it would work but it seems to be working quite nicely these fans should cycle on and off quite often though and real quick Any minute now, they should turn back on. Hopefully, those IGBTs did a really good job. There they go. Yep, it's warm again. Not much warmer than room temperature, but slightly. This one's this one's room temperature. This one's warmer. So we're we're looking pretty good. I don't know, I don't want to call it too soon, but this looks like a fixed inverter to me. Pretty happy with it. <coughs> well, we're going to leave this on for about, I'm only going to do this for five minutes. Because it's already warm in this room, this is going to get it too hot. Plus, I don't have that much power to spare, look at this. Stinking down to 59.5 volts already. Dang it. No power. Sucks. Winter sucks. 8,600 8, 8, watts of solar and I can't even make full charge in like a week. It's terrible. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's a fairly sunny day. We've made 7.5 kilowatts there, 1500 watts coming in. With almost 1500 watts coming in and 8.8 .8 kilowatts here. The house is running off the magnums today. We're at 64.4 volts. Everything's running great, like always. Still got to hook up those batteries and then the Pacifica batteries, but I don't even have enough solar to charge my batteries right now, so I'm not in a rush to hook those other batteries up. Do it as uh, time allows, maybe over the Christmas holidays. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.